work in personal life or anything or buying something new the, the time between from the time we think and the we buy or we achieve that target there is a lot of excitement lot of uh, different feelings but once that achievement is over then it feels like i why why was i doing so much why was i straining myself so much it doesn't give that much of a pleasure that it should give actually that's right that's exactly right um what anita just described is the core observation about suffering that buddha made um he called it trishna trishna or trishna in pali i think that is a root or maybe it's a sanskrit root and it's the same thing as thirst i think they all go back to the same root of thirst imagine having a, a, a thirst that you can never quench even hey, um so you have thirst you think by buying this you can quench that thirst and momentarily it seems that but then again you're thirsty either you want more of it to quench that thirst again it's never fully satisfying the thirst never goes same thing with things that we want to avoid we think if i avoid doing this i'll be happy my thirst will be quenched but if you avoid that then you want something else to avoid and so this unquenchable thirst trishna uh, buddha observation is that that is the root of all our suffering there is no quenching this thirst ever um and so new relationships better relationships more things different things different places titles different titles more money more properties none of these in his observation um is ever quenching that thirst it's unquenchable and so there is no since there is no solution he um, found a different dimension and um, and that is to observe this drama of thirst and wanting to quench by observing this you transcend that you're not suppressing that suppression is not the solution you cannot ever become never thirsty right there's no such thing but by observing the process of thirst and our tendency to move to watch that drama is the dimension of uh, freedom nirvana so anita you beautifully described how nothing seems to really ever fully satisfy permanently that's a kind of vicious cycle you yes. reach to back to the same point where you have started already absolutely right absolutely right <laughs> absolutely right whether this is something that you wanted to get and you got or this is the same thing something that you wanted to get rid of and you got rid of neither of those is ever fully permanently satisfying the thirst and with that let us begin again
three deep breaths. And after that, <clears throat> we simply watch the process of breathing. And to see the very core aspect of ever-changing, impermanent flow of experience. Resting your awareness on your throat. and simply observe the ever-changing, never permanent flow of experience of breathing around your throat. without any strain, if you are observing any tension, while observing, that again is an object for observation. Palms to the heart center. Namaskaram Gra. Thinking of somebody that you love and respect. And dedicating this session and all the benefits from this session to that person. Chin to the chest. Opening your eyes. Inhaling, arms up, palms pressing, looking up. Exhaling, palms coming down, looking down. Inhaling. 
exhaling inhaling exhaling inhaling exhaling inhaling up exhaling up one last strong inhaling exhaling up release come up to standing front of the mat tadasana namaskar mudra three rounds of surya namaskar begin being present to the practice.
being present. to pleasant feelings of satisfaction. Being present to unpleasant feelings of dissatisfaction. Even though we could be changing, the situations could be changing and our pleasantness, pleasant feelings can change to unpleasantness and vice versa. Because pleasant and unpleasant are very impermanent. But we can be present. That's a practice. Being present to ever changing pleasant and unpleasant states. Three deep breaths. Today, we are going to approach a few postures for hip opening postures. We'll first approach Prasarita Padatana posture, front of the mat, Tadasana. Namaskar Mutra. Inhaling, back bend. Exhaling forward bend. Completely relax your head, relax your shoulders. You can bend your knees to receive your abdomen on your thighs. Head completely relaxed. Five, four, Three, two, one. Inhaling, right foot back, long step back. Ashwasan Chalana. Looking gently up. Allowing the hip to relax down with exhalations. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Place the back foot flat on the mat, hands on the waist, inhaling come up, face the right wall. Turn your left foot inward so both your feet are parallel to each other in line stance. Move your feet back foot backward so you are coming to in line stance. The inner feet are parallel to each other. Broad stance. Inhale, exhaling, halfway bending forward, look to the front. You can bend the knees. If you need to bend the knees to bring your spine parallel to the ground, look, look to the front to flatten the back. You can bend the knees. 
next exhalation chin going down towards the mat you can bend the knees to allow the chin to go further down toward the mat head down allow your arms to hang loose if you are reaching the ground right underneath your head that's okay if you're not able to reach the mat you can fold your elbows five four three two one hands on the waist Inhaling, come up. Take a deep breath. Turn your left foot toward the front and look toward where the left foot is pointing to. Ashwasan Chalana. Right foot forward, exhaling. Hands on the waist. Inhaling, come up. Release your arms. Stand relaxed. Take a deep breath, exhale. Tadasana. Namaskar Mudra. Inhaling, back bend. Exhaling, forward bend. Inhaling, left foot back, long step back. Left foot back. Looking up, allowing the left hip to go forward and down. With exhalations, Ashpasanchala. Five, four, three, two, one. Place the back foot flat on the mat, hands on the waist. Inhaling, come up, face the left wall. Turn your right foot in. So now both your toes are pointing in the same direction. Inner feet back in stance. Inhale. Exhaling, bending forward halfway. Look to the front. Next exhalation, chin further going down toward the mat, you can bend the knees. Now, those who can reach and grab your big toes, right hand grabbing the right big toe, left hand grabbing the left big toe. If you're not able to grab your toes, you can grab your shins. Look to the front, flatten your back just a bit. Next exhalation, chin going further down toward the mat and then head down. And straightening up your knees as best as you can. Head hanging loose by um, grabbing your big toes and trying to pull the big toes up, you can feel your quad muscles tightening up, allowing the hamstrings to relax and lengthen. Five deep breaths, five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hands on the waist. Inhaling, come up. Turn your right foot away to the front. Ashwasanchala. 
right foot back plank. Knees down, Vajrasana. Separate your knees and bend forward, taking your forehead down to the mat, relax. Arms relaxed, forehead relaxing. Take a deep breath, exhale. Next, let's approach Virabhadrasana, second variation. Cat posture. Take a deep breath. Plank posture, Palakasana. Hold the posture, five, four, three, two, one. Adho Mukha Shwanasana. You can bend the knees to allow the head to go down toward the mat. Shoulder blades on your back, gently coming toward each other. Five deep breaths, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, left foot forward between the palms, Ashwa. Place the back foot flat on the mat, hands on the waist, inhaling, come up, face the right wall. In line stance, use the edge of the mat as a reference to align your feet in line stance. Keeping the spine vertical, start bending your left knee and bring the left knee on top of the left ankle. Keep the spine vertical. Now slide your back foot further away if you can to bring the left thigh parallel to the ground. If you can, or as much as you can. And consciously trying to get the knee, left knee on top of the left ankle rather than away inside, turning the knee inside or towards the front. Opening your left hip to bring the left knee on top of the left ankle. Arms up parallel to the ground. Palms facing down, relax your shoulders. Gazing at your left fingertips. Bend your left knee to get your spine vertically down just a bit. Virabhadrasana, second variation. Five, four, three, two. One, hands on the waist. Look toward your left foot, Ashvasanchalana. Left foot back, plank. Adomukashwanasana. Remember, you can bend your knees, keeping the back as straight as you can. 
completely relaxing your head. Head is going down toward the mat. Shoulder blades on your back going toward each other. Next inhalation, right foot forward, Ashva Sanchalana. Place the back foot flat on the mat, hands on the waist, inhaling, come up, face the left wall. Look down at your feet in line stance. Use the edge of the mat as a reference to align your feet. Start keeping the spine vertical. Start bending your right knee and bring the right knee on top of the right ankle. Keeping the right knee on top of the right ankle, see if you can bring the right thigh parallel to the ground. By bending the knee, you might even have to slide your back foot further back. Arms up. Parallel to the ground, palms facing down, shoulders relaxed, gazing at your right fingertips and bend your right knee just a bit more. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands on the waist. Straighten up the knee, look toward your right foot, Ashvasan Chalana. <clears throat> right foot back plank. Knees down, Vajrasana. And separate your knees, bending forward. Forehead going down towards the mat. Relax your arms. And if this variation of Palasana is not helping you relax, Sukhasana and relax. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. A variation of Parshvakonasana. Cat posture. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Blank posture. Ado Mukeshvanasana. Inhaling, left foot forward, Ashvasanchana. Place the back foot flat on the mat, hands on the waist. Inhaling, come up, face the right wall. Make your feet adjustment so they are in line. Use the edge of the mat as a reference. Start bending your left knee and bring the left knee on top of the left ankle. Keep the spine vertical for now. Now place the left forearm across the left thigh. Right arm up and over. Right fingertips reaching for the wall where your left toes are pointing to. You are feeling the stretch from the right middle finger down your right arm, down the side of the body, down the side of the right leg, all the way toward the outer edge of your right foot. Five. Four, three, two, one. Hands on the waist. 
Inhaling, come up. Look toward where the left toes are pointing to Ashwa Sanchala. Left foot back plank. Adomakashwanasana. Keep your feet close together. Inhaling, right foot forward. Ashva Sanchalana. Place the back foot flat on the mat. Hands on the waist. Inhaling, come up. Face the left wall. In line stance. Bending your right knee. Right knee on top of the right ankle. Place the right forearm across your right thigh. Left arm up and over. Left arm behind your left ear. Left fingertips reaching for the wall where the right toes are pointing to. Feel the stretch from the middle left finger. Down the left arm, down the left side, left side of the leg, all the way to the left foot, outer edge. Five deep breaths, five, four, three, two, one. Hands on the waist, inhaling, straighten now. Ash present chalana. <clears throat> Right foot back, plank, knees down, Vajrasana. Separate your knees, bending forward, forehead down toward the mat, arms relaxing. Relax. Take a deep breath, exhale. Come to Sukhasana. Take a deep breath. <clears throat> Let's practice Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together. Grab hold of your feet, straightening up the spine. Flap your knees rhythmically up and down. Baddha Kona Kriya. The speed is not as important as the rhythm. <clears throat> Keep a steady rhythm. And stop. Now, see if you can bring your feet closer to the body. Just a bit, few millimeters also. Okay. Straightening up the spine. Inhale, growing taller. Exhaling, lean forward, taking your chin forward, not the forehead forward. Take your chin, keeping the back as straight as you can. Next exhalation, your chin is leading further forward and down. And head down. And watch the experience, perhaps on your inner thighs or wherever the edges are. Those who are 
flexible, can take the chin down toward the mat. Five deep breaths, five. Two, one, inhaling, straightening up. Release your legs, shake your legs. Take a deep breath, exhale. Now let us um, work our way toward Upavishta Konasana. Before we do split leg forward bend, come to Dandasana. Bend your left knee. Keep the left knee on the ground. And then move your right leg to the side as far as you can with your right toes pointing up. Left knee bent. Um, keep the left knee bent. Left knee on the ground. As in um, Janusarasasana. Practice. Now keep the left leg down with the left knee bent. Move your right leg away to the side. Keep the right toes pointing up, like how Manjit is doing. Now, even while your right leg is going toward the side, look, keep looking to the front. Keep the back as straight as you can. Place the palms in front of you on the mat. Always keeping the right toes pointing up rather than away to the side. Flex the right toes to tighten your right quad muscle, thigh muscles. Walk as best as you can. Keep the back straight as much as you can. Walk your palms toward the front. Allow the chin to lead. Walk your palms away as much as you can and then finally head down. Remember to keep the right leg strong to avoid hamstring injury. Keep your right toes flexed to point toward you to keep a right, uh, strong right thigh muscles. And then relax and observe the feelings of being at the edge. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, walk your palms back, straightening up the spine, bring your legs toward each other, relax your legs. Um, being at the edge, sometimes you might feel less sure. J, one question. Not. Yes. Sorry yes. to interrupt. No problem. In, as, as right knee was like bent, and uh, it was flat in the ground. So the sole of right foot can touch the left foot, which is straight or not. The sole of right foot, where it should be. Um, sole of right foot is, your right foot is vertical. Correct. Your right heel is digging into the ground. Right calf muscle is on the ground. 
back of your right knee is pressing towards the ground, right thigh is pressing towards the ground, and uh, right toes are pointing up. In fact, flexed and right toes are pointing toward you. And left, left sole, uh, left feet. Left foot, left foot is simply, left knee is bent and left leg is not active as much because we are trying to um, approach Upavishta Konasana where we have to spread both the legs. Now this is just in preparation. We are just doing one leg at a time and then we will separate both the legs and then bend forward. Sure, got it. Yeah. Dandasana, legs together. Bend your right knee and Allow the right leg to relax. And move your left leg away to the left side. Left toes are pointing up. Strengthen your left leg by flexing your left toes. Keep the left leg strong. Spine straight. Lean forward. Place the palms on the mat in front. Keep the back straight. Allow the chin to lead as you walk your palms forward. Head down, relax. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Walk your palms back. Bring your legs together, relax. Remember, we started the session with um, Prasarita Padatana. Upavishta Konasana is, um, is similar to Prasarita Padatana that we began with, except this is done from a seated posture, separated legs, and we're going to bend forward between the legs. Take a deep breath. Now separate both the legs to the sides, keeping the toes pointing up, and then toes pointing toward you as you flex your toes to strengthen the legs. Legs as far as you can get. Separate the legs as much as you can. And even if you need to place your palms behind you just for a bit to straighten up the spine, keeping the legs strong, do that. And after that, bring your palms in front of you between the legs, straightening up the spine. As you walk your palms away to the front, allow the chin to lead the way. As much as you can, lean forward and then finally head down. Keep the legs strong. Upavishta Konasana. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhaling, straightening up. Bring your legs together. Relax. Lying down on your back. Hug your knees, rock back and forth. Side to side. Settle back down and surrender in Shavasana.
letting go of your body. <clears throat> Resting your awareness on your abdomen. Watching the flow of experience of breathing. Ever changing, never permanent flow of experience. Relax. Relax. Nothing ever is permanent. No satisfaction lasts. That is a reality. And there is no quarreling with the reality. That is how things are. No satisfaction lasts. And yet, what a miracle to be alive and aware. Uh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Gently come to sitting. Take your time.
taking your hands back. Inhaling, growing taller, exhaling, bending forward. Thanking Mother Earth. Inhaling, coming up, rubbing your palms. Massaging your eyes, blinking your eyes open. Namaste. Such a privilege it is. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Good day ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.